Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week so far. Happy Wednesday. I just want to get to Sunday for the Bears. But anyways, anyways, we got driving stoned in the snow and my car completely shut off story time. So I know that's a lengthy title, but this one is a good story. I promise you this happened this year. I just didn't think to tell it because when I was dealing with all this stuff going on and having to like drive it to the shop, figuring out how to pay for stuff or help pay for stuff, just the whole, the whole process sucked and I was busy and I couldn't go anywhere and it was all cold out. Right. But the day this happened was horrible, man. And it was, I was just doing my normal schedule every single day. I do pretty much the same stuff. I wake up at some point, sometimes really early, sometimes later on in the afternoon. That's the only difference. But I wake up, I go see the puppy. I come back here, right? I sit in my car and I do my video. Now, what happened on this day is I wake up and I woke up late and I realized that, okay, I already have some, uh, some puppy videos saved that I wanted to post and I couldn't visit the puppy till later. So I was like, I'm going to get stoned and hang out. Well, I'm getting stoned and hanging out and I get a call, right? And the only reason my puppy isn't at my house is because through my baby brother was just born. He just turned seven months old. So there's not really space for a puppy too. So the puppies at my grandparents. But anyways, 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 I get a call while I'm getting stoned. I probably hit the pen like, I don't know, eh over under six hits right around there. So I was feeling good. I was feeling groovy. You know what I mean? I had music on. I'm playing. I can't remember what I was playing. Probably Madden because NCAA wasn't out yet. This is back last winter, right? So I'm just chilling and I get a call and they're like, hey, you want to come see the dog now? We didn't think we'd be home, but we'll be home if you want to come see the dog. So I'm like, yes, I do. But I just got real, real stoned and it's snowy out. Snow is the only one I don't like driving in. Rain, I'll do fine, like traffic, whatever, highway, whatever, but rain or snow, I'm not a huge fan of snow, especially, I mean, in Illinois, I mean, like if there was snow in Florida or something, obviously the drivers are going to be a lot worse than here. Illinois may not be the worst place, but it's still not good. People still are not the best at driving, right? Some people are better than others, but it's just trucks speeding by you and everybody else going slow as hell. Some people going real, real slow. So I start driving and I'm high, right? So I'm already kind of on edge slash paranoid. And so I'm driving and I get about halfway and everything's chill. And usually I go one way, right? There's two ways you can go to get to the house, right? There's one way where you go straight and there's maybe like three more stoplights. But I like to go that way just because it's quicker. And one of my one of my exes, I have to pass by their house going the other way. So I don't like going that way, right? So usually I go the other way, but for some reason in my head, I was just like, oh, I'm going to go this one way because I think it'll be faster today. I don't know why I did it, but I'm going there and I'm on the road and it was kind of like, it was weird because the whole time, especially like when it's snowy, there's never going to be no cars on the road unless it's like a horrible storm. Like besides that, there's always people on the road. When the stuff just before it went wrong, there was no one next to me. Like I was looking to my left. There's no one there. Looking to my right, no one there. It was snowing actively. A lot of snow on the ground, icy, wet, all the bad things you could want, right? But I wasn't going fast. I didn't like crash into something. I'm just cruising along, right? And my car, it's like my car hiccuped, dude. At first it was like, right? Like uh, the best way I can describe it is, you know, when you're on a roller coaster and at the very end of it, right? Like, let's say you're going fast, um, and you're at the end of the roller coaster, you're going fast, and then all of a sudden it does that like break, like that compression, like that stop, and it's like, like, you know what I mean? When it stops you all fast, and you, you get, sometimes you get jerked forward real hard, you're like, damn, you're gonna give me whiplash, like that. That's what my car did real quick. It was like, and then I'm like, what the hell was that? Then all, every single light that could turn on, on the, I don't know what it's called, but the little dashboard menu thing, Every light that could turn on, the engine light, the tire light, the, I don't know what the red light is to the right, but that one turned on. They all turned on, like the, I don't think it's the airbag, but just a bunch of things turned on and then everything turned off. And I was going like 35, 40. So I go to click on my brake and my brake's just like locked up. Like everything's just, you know what I mean? Like if your car's off, like you can push the gas pedal and uh, the brake, now I can't remember if it was hardened or not hardened, but I, I just remember pushing on it and nothing happening and just going forward in a little bit, my car would turn left. So my car just completely turns off. Like, like 
Uh, I had heat going, no heat, music completely stops. It just completely shut down, like just turned off while I was driving. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm just cruising it, cruising it, cruising. I don't know what to do. And there's a little um parking spot. So I'm trying to think, okay, how can I stop here, right? And it's going, I'm going uphill. That was the only reason I was able to stop. But I was cruising, going uphill. And I'm trying to think, okay, if I really have to, I'll crash into the little wall here. Because I was going like two miles per hour going uphill. And when I got to the like top of the hill, my car rocked and I was able to put it in park. I put my e-brake out and then put my lights on and got out. So I wasn't able to get into a parking spot. I took up like three or four parking spots at a little train station. I was going uphill. That was the only reason I could stop. I got lucky there, but it sucked, dude. So now I'm high. I'm sitting there. I'm panicking because I've heard of car troubles, right? I've heard of like tires popping, flat tires. Uh, your transmission can blow. That's something that happened to me. Like things can happen. I know that, but I never have once heard of a car just shutting off in the middle of driving. Right. So that scared the fuck out of me. I'm sitting there like, what did I do? Did I press like a turn off button and I'm stoned. So I'm thinking like, did I turn the key? Like, did I do something? I thought it was me at first. And I start calling people because I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm an adult, but I'm not like an adult adult. I'm like a child adult, not like a real adult. So I start calling the real adults and I'm like, what the fuck happened? And what the fuck do I do? And they tell me what to do. I had to go get picked up, right? But it was freezing cold and a cop pulled up. So I'm standing there, right? Or at first I was sitting there because my car was still warm for a couple minutes. But after like six minutes, it was cold again because the heat turned off. So it got cold quick and it was like, I don't know, 20 degrees probably felt like, I don't know, 15 or 10 out. So I'm sitting there shivering. I'm cold. My phone's starting to die quick. I know someone's coming to pick me up, but I don't know how long. And I see a cop start to pull up. So I just get out of my car because I'm like, I don't want to have to deal with not being able to roll down my window and the cop wondering what's going on and like, why are you parked across four spots? Um, actually, I don't know if I even could. I think I tried to turn on my emergency list, but I doubt they turned on because my car completely shut off. So they probably didn't even turn on, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't even remember hearing the clicking now that I think about it. But I just stood outside my car and the cop pulls up and you know how much for how much i shit talk cops this guy wasn't really an asshole because i didn't do nothing wrong either so i guess it's mutual like that he was just there because i'm sure he saw a car was stopped but he's like what's going on and i told him i'm waiting to get picked up uh my car just literally turned off and he's like oh did you hit a big puddle or did you you know did it get soaking wet or something i'm like i don't know dude like cars get wet and they're fine i don't know what's going on and so he was just like, do you want to sit in the car? I was like, I'm good. I'm getting picked up in a minute. I was not about to, like, he was being nice. He was like, you want to sit in the car, be warm? I was like, no, I'm good. I don't want to do that. I'll just sit here. Because I was high, too. You got to think about that. I was stoned. So the last thing I want to do is sit and talk to a cop about anything, about life or the bears or anything. I didn't want to talk to him. So I just waited to get picked up. But then, but then I had to get my car towed and the tow place took it to the wrong. They said they were going to bring it to one shop and then they took it to a completely different place. Like, I don't, I can't, not too far, like 20 miles in the other direction, but far enough to be annoying. And then we had to go there, pick it up. And it was, I mean, that was fine. It was a process, but geez, dude, talk about uncomfortable situations. Like, tell me, what do you do in this scenario? Like, all I was trying to do was do my daily routine. Just go see my puppy, do my video like today, right? But no, no, the world had other things in mind. I get stoned, I start driving in the snow, and I'm doing all right, but a little, little anxious about driving high in the snow. Then all of a sudden, my car just turns off out of nowhere. A cop pulls up, and I have to get my car towed and repaired. Like, that sucked. But there was so much paranoia in there that I can't even describe. Like, I thought I just turned off my car with the key somehow. Like, I genuinely was tweaking, thinking it was me. And then when the cop pulled up, I'm like, oh, God, what did I do wrong? Like, I, the only good part of the story is that when my car did turn off, I was able to go uphill into a parking lot. Besides that, I would have been screwed. I would have had to crash into something, probably. I don't know. Or just hope the e-brake works on the ice. So... You never know what could happen there. But thanks for watching. If you comment, I do my best to always uh, always answer the positive comments. I just want to give a heads up. Tomorrow will be the first week of NFL 2024 predictions. We did predictions all of last year. I ended pretty well. I'll try to, I'm going to 
watch that last video to see what my last record was, but I know it was positive. I did pretty close to the ESPN, guys. So we'll do that again starting tomorrow. But thanks for watching. If you're going through something and you need someone to talk to, my Instagram's linked um, in YouTube. It's also the same exact name as my YouTube, so go there, DM me. I'll get back to you within a day or two. But thanks for watching. Become a member today if you want to. Extra perks, extra perks. Be safe. Peace out.